Hi guys, um, it's been quite some time and uh, I just want to show some of my friends out there that are talking about uh, how to light up this case without the motherboard. This is the Shakun, uh, I think it's RGB Lead 200, they have the 100 also and they also have a new one out now which is about Lead 300 or so, but anyway this is the question I get from the owners of this case, people that have purchased this case, that how do they control the RGB light with their reset button by just pressing it and changing the uh, RGB light on their motherboard, on the, on the case without connecting it to the motherboard. Um, I'm going to show you how now because this case itself comes with a RGB adapter uh, that you can use to connect your RGB lights directly into it and you can connect that to also to the reset button which you can now use to control the color of the RGB. So I'm going to go to the other side and move to the other side and show you. Some pressure from the back of the camera why the stripe is not moving. There is still it's a rainbow. Um, the stripe is is also supposed to be working together with it because you can see yeah. it is it is working together with it. But when it goes into a, a different light mode, because the stripe is completely RGB, it doesn't have a single light mode like the hoops, ah. so it doesn't work with that. Only the fan uh, and the front one changes to it. So. That is the one in front. The one in front does go with a fan, but this stripe does not for one reason or the other. I, I'm not sure why, but I think that is how you just did it. Oh, now, how? it Red comes course. in solid color for a second. There's a possibility that this one might be faulty, but now it's in solid color. And when you change it again, it goes, and after some times it goes to solid color. But to be honest, this case has been sitting down in my uh, storage for quite a long time. It might be defaulted or anything or something like that. I, I'm not very sure, but you can get solid colors and you can get RGB and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna just not to talk too much and making this video too long. Uh, it's just to teach you how to connect it with to your reset button on top here. Then you can control your RGB as you want. So let me just flip it to the other side, then I can show you the controller. Okay, so um, this is the controller that comes included in the case. And it has four RGB uh, connector, which you can connect for RGBs. And on top here, if you look at it, there are two connectors. The first one from my side is for the SATA cable, which needs to power this uh, controller. And the second one is a two pin for your reset button. Down here, there's another cable which is in white. It goes directly to the, uh, the controller on your motherboard. Um, if you have any other motherboard that has the normal addressable RGB, uh, you can use this three connector. And I believe this one goes for the gigabyte motherboards that uses the other connector. So you will not be using uh, this one that comes with a white because you're not controlling it with your motherboard. You want to control it with the reset button. You connect the four RGB lights to um, to those four places. I'm talking when I talk about the light. I'm talking about the fan and the RGB uh, addresser lights or stuff like that. They go into that. And one thing I need you to remember or to know is that this just powers the RGB. It doesn't power the fan. So you still need to connect your fan to a power connector, which is using the Monex connector or you connect it directly to your motherboard with the three pin uh, controller there. Either way, you cannot control the speed of your fan because it's just a regular normal fan. So I have it here, you can connect your fans together to this, or you connect it to the motherboard with this. So you need to power the fan and you need to power the RGB controller also. Two of them, has to be connected to the power. So I have a power pack here, one with a MOLES connector, which is a, a Be Quiet uh, Mini SL. And I'm going to be connecting my, uh, my SATA cable to the SATA also. So it's not like you're going to do one that does all. My, 
Molex collector has its own different cable and my SATA connector has its own different cable. So I'm using two cables here. That is more cable connections. Uh, it, it's this way it is and there's nothing you can do about it um, because of the Molex connector that is included in it. So when those two are being connected, you pick up your controller cable and you look for the reset one, not the power one, not the power switch the reset switch because they almost look identical at the exception of one is power and reset is written on top of it and you key that on top here and that is done um, the front are they are three rgb connector i've broken this one if you can see it's broken i've not had the chance to fix it and uh, you connect everything into there, be careful, they break easily. They are not that uh, perfect. So I have jump start my power pack. Um, if you wanna know more about this, I can give it to you in another video. Just put it down there in the comment below if you wanna know more about how to jump start that. And immediately, if you power your it on, everything just comes on, including the RGB that are connected and you can just use your reset button to change the color of the RGB. That is just all, oh, there's nothing much. Um, this is included in the case, the controller is included in case, so don't bother yourself. If you don't have it, it's not gonna work. If you have it, it's, it's gonna work. And for someone that asks me, can you use this controller with other cases if you have it? Yes, you can. It works basically on every cases because it's not there's nothing connecting it to this case except it's being screwed here. I think there's something with the focus because we are not using autofocus now. It's, I'm trying to follow you, but no need of following me. That's what I said. Leave it here. Don't this follow guy don't me. Want to be perfect. <laughs> No, I, we, the okay, more perfect yeah. we do it, the more we get do in trouble. Are you, gonna do? I want to Are you done? Yeah, still, still not okay. The, the, the case is in print. Uh, what are would have to? Is okay. But yeah, but I'm done already. Okay. <laughs> I don't know where I stopped anymore. Anyway, we did have a cut just now because uh, my guy said the camera was not in focus, but now we're back. So just like that, it could work with any other case. It's just a matter of you scrolling it or putting it on that case, and you can use it on any other case. The controller comes with this case. I'm not sure if you are going to be able to find this controller on sale somewhere else unless someone is selling it or they are selling it themselves. So guys, this is how to connect the RGB on the Chacon um, 200. That is RGB Lead 200. So um, if you have any comments. You want to, are you? Yeah, I want to move to the. So I did jump forward because we just tried to reset ourselves. That is it for the. Uh, RGB Lead 200 case from Shokun. The same procedure goes for the 100 also. If you have any question or anything you want me to answer, you can just drop a comment down there below. Oh, forgot if you are here until the end of this video, don't forget to click on the thumb and subscribe if you've not subscribed. We have a lot of viewers and most of them are not subscribed. Help us grow this channel and try to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Udabo.